Good morning and welcome to Christmas at the Rectory here at St. James of Rilia. I'm the Reverend Canon John Anderson and it's my privilege to be with you here this morning and I'm going to be joined by my children uh, Gareth and Maggie and we're also joined this morning with our elf dog Ralphie who's in her little Christmas elf costumes. We're sorry we can't be with you in person at uh, St. James but we thought this would be a beautiful way to bring in the Christmas day by being here in your uh, rectory. As I like to say, your house, my home. Uh, so let's begin our service uh, with the gathering of the community. We light this candle once again in celebration of the light of life, now with us forevermore. For the word has become flesh and is dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Glory to God. Amen. Christ is born. Alleluia. Jesus is among us. Alleluia. The word has become flesh. Alleluia. Alleluia. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. The Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. I'm now going to ask Maggie to read a prayer. Loving Father, help us remember the birth of Jesus that we may share in the song of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds, and the worship of the wise men. Close the door of hate and open the door of love all over the world. Let kindness come with every gift and good desires with every greeting. Deliver us from evil by the blessing which Christ brings and teach us to be merry with clean hearts. May the Christmas morning make us happy to be thy children and the Christmas evening bring us to our beds with grateful thoughts forgiving and forgiven for Jesus' sake. Amen. 
Our readings for Christmas Day, a reading from the letter of Paul to Titus. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of any works of righteousness that we have done, but according to his mercy, through the water of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. This spirit he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Meg, we will now read the Gospel. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace amongst those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see the thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I want to do a brief reflection for Christmas Day. Um, this has been a tough year uh, for all of us. It's been filled with ups and downs as we've had to respond to uh, the COVID uh, protocols in our midst, uh, dealing with the uh, financial burdens that has been presented by that, and uh, being separated from one another. But all of you and all of the team at St. James from uh, our volunteers and our corporation have done an amazing job to um, embrace uh, the spirit of Christ in everything that they do in keeping our church going and responsive to the needs in our community. And I'm indebted to all of you for what you have done. 
And I'm reminded uh, that as we uh, go into Omicron of an article that I read yesterday that people who have uh, been afflicted with COVID or maybe have come in contact sometimes are sort of relegated to the sidelines um, because people question their uh, why they may have uh, suffered in this way. And the article pointed out that the reality is now with Omicron, almost all of us at some point or other are going to get COVID. And there's no need for recriminations or questioning. Rather, what we need to do is all have a sense of understanding, treat each other with kindness, and uh, remember um, that uh, we're all called uh, to help one another. And I think that's the message for this day and going forward, that um, despite what tribulations we may have over the next few months, um, we will uh, get through this, and uh, we won't be defined by this, and we will be able to uh, uh, be a community of faithful people who care for one another, who understand for one another, and will continue to live out our uh, call to serve one another. And isn't that the message of Christmas Day? So I wish at this point in time, you and your family, a Merry Christmas, and know that the Incarnate One is with us and remains with us in everything that we do. Thanks be to God. Let us now pray. By the good news of our salvation brought to Mary by the angel, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. And by the mystery of the word made flesh, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. And by the birth and time of the timeless Son of God, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. And by the manifestation of the King of glory to the shepherds and magi, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. And by the submission of the maker of the world to Mary and Joseph of Nazareth, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. And by the baptism of the Son of God in the River Jordan, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. And grant that the kingdoms of this world may become the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. I'm going to now ask Maggie to um, do the peace for us. From A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. There are many things from which I might have derived good, by which I have not profited, I dare say, returned the nephew. Christmas among the rest. But I'm sure I have always thought of Christmas time when it had come round, apart from the veneration due to its sacred name and origin, if anything belonging to it can be apart from that, as a good time, a kind, forgiving, charitable, pleasant time. The only time I know of in the long calendar of the year when men and women say by one consent to open their shut up hearts freely and to think of people below them as if they really were fellow passengers to the grave and not another race of creatures bound on their journeys. And therefore, uncle, though it has never put a scrap of gold or silver in my pocket, I believe that it has done me good and will do me good, and I say, God bless it. So, may the peace of the Lord be always with you. Let nothing you dismay Remember Christ the Savior Was born upon this day To save us all from Satan's power When we were gone astray All oh, tidings of comfort and joy Comfort and joy All oh, tidings of comfort and joy
glorious now, behold him arise, King and God in sacrifice. Our Savior Christ has taught us, we are both to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. And that peace which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds and the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you, remain with you always. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you. Merry Christmas, everyone.